ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by let me tell you today my friends we have got a spicy one so as i'm sure you guys know vanguard is here we've got the warzone integration coming in just under a month from now and that means we've got a very short amount of time to level a whole lot of weapons so right now my main goal in game is to get as many weapons max level as possible then i'll worry about camos and stuff later right so uh as of yesterday we ended up getting the whole das house 24 7 playlist and i figured hey you know we've got the smallest map in the game 24 7 now is probably a pretty good time to get my shotguns done and out of the way right get them leveled get them maxed that way i don't have to worry about using them on some of the bigger maps that are a little bit more tedious for leveling close quarters weapons so i'm going through the shotguns and i get to the combat shotgun and at first i'm thinking okay you know it's just another shoddy there's no way it's going to be as good as the revolving shotgun which i previously talked about in another video which is just an insanely powerful weapon through like 10 15 meters uh yeah no it's way it's way better it's so much better it's kind of unreal today i got a little bit of a gameplay for you guys 110 second nuke or a v2 rocket using the combat shoddy absolutely insane gameplay my first nuke by far my fastest nuke pretty spicy if i do say so myself and then also we're gonna go over what is probably the most broken setup in the entire game just because of how unreal it is between those zero and like 15 meter fights yeah the stg is broken yeah the mp40 is broken they're gonna get nerfed so i would not be surprised the combat shoddy though is not really on that same radar so this thing could be uh problematic for a bit i kind of want to make this video as well just because hopefully it gets it out there enough to you know have the devs say oh we should probably look at that so as we go through it today if you enjoyed the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated and of course if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed feel free to do so that way you can always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in cod news updates class setups tips it's all right here every single day All right, so you saw just what the combat shotgun could do in game. Thing is absolutely busted and broken as can be. So when it comes to the class setup here, let's go through each of our 10 attachments here and see what really you want to be using to maximize this thing's overall efficiency. The muzzle is a very clear choice here. You only have four options. One gives you tighter pellet spread, one gives you better recoil, one gives you a wider pellet spread, and one gives you better accuracy. Accuracy and recoil here are not going to be the biggest pros just because we are hip firing pretty much constantly with this thing to make it the best it can be, which leaves you between the full choke 
choke and the smooth bore and really tighter pellet spread here is going to be the most ideal so i'm going full choke on this thing and you'll see why as we get further throughout the setup this just is going to balance it out because we're going to have other attachments that sort of work against this in sort of a weird way but it's necessary for the setup to do well so uh we've got that to start things off for the under barrel here we're going for the smile pistol grip this is going to give you a better sprint to fire and better hip fire accuracy two huge pros to have on a shotgun uh, obviously the sprint to fire is massive because uh, if you're like me and you play on ats shotguns are not super easy to deal with because they have bad sprint to fire because you're automatically tack sprinting and always tack sprinting so that's a huge bonus and obviously the hip fire accuracy is something you always want to see on a shotgun so we've got that on there as well for the magazine i'm simply going for the 16 gauge 10 round drums they hurt your ADS and your reload quickness and slightly your movement speed, but honestly, the 10 round tier is a, is a game changer. You don't have to stop to reload constantly. The fast mags are not it. The seven round you could get away with, but I mean, if you're going seven, might as well go 10, right? It doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, that's all it really doing is hurting your ADS speed more and I'm hardly ever ADSing. So the 10 round drums are absolutely a beast of a setup there. Uh, when it comes to the ammo type, this is super, super important. Packed powder, my friends. It does hurt your fire rate a little bit, but as you saw in that gameplay, not really a huge issue. The increased damage range that this offers is so, so beneficial. You gotta be running it. If you're playing a close range map, this is going to extend that range even more, make it even more lethal across pretty much the entire map, like for instance, Das House. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the rear grip here. There's a couple of different routes you could go. I've seen some players going for something uh, like the pine tar grip, which gives you uh, better control, but more importantly, better hip fire accuracy. That's definitely a pretty solid way to go here. Uh, some players have been going for stipple grip tape. And if you're someone who, uh, you know, ADSs a lot, that could be an option, but we're obviously not going for an ADS build here. So that's not applicable to our setup. Instead, I'm going for the fabric grip, better sprint to fire, better hip fire recoil recovery. So it just makes it easier to continue spamming it. Uh, you do get better ADS speed. So that's uh, kind of an added bonus if you need to, but really I'm focused on that sprint to fire that that's offering there. For the proficiency, this is another huge one. Frenzy is really, really cool. And I would probably be using this on most weapons if, vital didn't exist because vital is absolutely busted right now now i would imagine that this gets fixed in the future and if and when it does if you're watching this video and vital is no longer this insanely uh powerful thing then yes running frenzy is the go-to but for the time being as i'm recording this video it's 110 percent the wave here uh for the kit this one does not matter too much i was running surplus during the gameplay that you guys saw so i could get better uh weapon xp but honestly now uh, that it's maxed i want to be running quick for that better sprint speed that's a huge added bonus mobility here is uh, is key for the stock i'm always going for the third one in this case plus two hip fire accuracy better ads better sprint to fire those are huge bonuses to have you do get some cons there but honestly they're not super applicable to a shotgun and this uh this is going to make it even more uh accurate and deadly from the hip which is where you saw most of the kills were coming from so i mean kind of a no-brainer attachment there i don't use an optic i'm hardly ever adsing as is and none of these really are, are are necessary if i'm adsing the iron sights work just fine so you don't need to use one of these you could if you wanted to but i see no real reason to especially when we have a hip fire bill uh, a hip fire base build here and then lastly the biggest and most important part of this setup is the barrel now there are a couple of solid ones here you might say damage and hip fire damage increases for this first barrel that's pretty solid right but it's not the best you know better damage range better flinch resistance all right not too shabby uh highly accurate this would be a great build if you're trying to ads a lot and get some more like long shot range kills sawed off wider pellet spread better movement speed better damage this is the key to this setup as you guys can see in the gameplay my hip fire spread was massive now you might be wondering why are you using the wider pellet spread barrel if you're using something that has the tighter pellet spread uh choke and really i tried the smooth bore and it felt like i wasn't getting as many shots uh connecting so i feel like this tightened up enough so that i could have that wide area that wider pellet spread but still have them being one hits in some pretty ridiculous angles where like they're not really even fully in my crosshairs but i'm still getting that one hit range when i tried the smooth bore i wasn't getting that same success could have just been the lobby, could have been the match, or I, it was just, you know, actually making that in-game difference. So that's why I still run the full choke on there. But really, the sawed off here is what makes this specific build so broken for hipfire. As I mentioned, I was using ATS, which is very anti-shotgun, and I was still able to just decimate that lobby very easily, very quickly. Like this setup here is absolutely nuts as a hipfire build. So if you're on keyboard and mouse, this is God tier. If you're on controller and you can get past ATS, or if you don't use ATS, this is God tier. Absolutely one of the most broken guns in the game. 
the only way you lose with this gun is if there is either 17 enemies staring at you or if it's a ranged fight so you know obviously you're not want to be you don't want to be using this on big maps but for the small maps the close quarters action this thing is unbeatable right now it is incredibly incredibly powerful and one of the best setups in the game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a little bit different style than normal with the whole gameplay in the v2 rocket but had to showcase that just because the gameplay was pretty spicy if i do say so myself but that's gonna wrap things up for today if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and of course if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed this is the place to be for everything going on in cod news updates class setups tips it's all right here every single day uh but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching hopefully this gets fixed soon maybe this video will help uh you know it get, get patched a little bit quicker because i think it's in need of a nerf but until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out